hello guys welcome to pen testers club today we are going to discuss about uh, some new uh, hacking tools and new uh, uh, new tutorials so let's get started so once coming to the our website so you can get all tools uh, free everything so we can get uh, let's get started uh, now so come to the tutorials now so first tutorial is a link a command and control a fr uh, framework written in rust so we can see this what it is so link a command and control a framework so it is in beta introduction work link in Link provides a Mac OS, Linux and Windows implementation which may lack the ne necessary MSU tradecraft provided by another more uh, mature command and control frameworks. Uh, list expands like works with HTTPS communications process injections in memory, .NET assembly execution, sharp collection tools and uh, SRDI implementations for uh, shell code generations, Windows link reloads, DLL, DLLS uh, from disk into current process. So we can look it out the main repository. They written in the shell code. You can see it here. Even you can get it this uh, framework in the Google Play Store. Bearing in the YouTube. It's coming for ads. When you go, when we go for another tutorial, is like a shipper in progress, persistent download, upload execution tool using Windows bits. This is in progress, persistent tool uh, using Windows background intelligence transport service. Functionally, we use in like uh, downloading the files and. Uh, dolls in the persistence attack the only execution that must should be in the victim machines it's uh, shipper.exe so this is the tool so you can see here functionally file download file exfil exfiltration file download plus persistence execution you can run you can run this in only the victims uh, machine or victim pc Cartoon, a tool to analyze a network flow duration attack, defends a capture flag. Cartoon is a tool to analyze a network flow duration, capture the flag like TCP, UDP, uh, transport protocols uh, from, the, from the connections. So it will, it has some features like uh, immediate uh, Immediate installation with the Docker Compose, no configure file settings can be changed with the graphical user interface and application interface. PCAPs analyzed with the local via calls either the locally or remotely or via GUI. So when you go for the installation, there are two ways for the installation of Carton. With the Docker, Docker compose the fastest way and easiest way manually installing the dependencies and compiling the project. So once you come here, so this is how the interface will look like. Carton. Uh, 
main window in the timeline extended so you can download from the source code here in the cartoon and even you can run from with the docker also with this so now another tutorial come to red warden flexibility cobalt strike uh, malleable redir redirector so Previously known proxy to is a mill redirector. So how uh, if I connect to the VPN, how it will may protect VPN connected target, home uh, office target, blue team and red team. So it not. Uh, interrupting with the blue team and red team and uh, it's not going to be breach also so so this is the red warden how it's going to work Combining a malleable C2 profiles, understanding the knowledge of a bad IP address pool and flexibilities of easily adding uh, new inceptions and uh, mis misrouting logic resulted having a crafty repletent IR incepts. So once you come, redirect, simply redirect to another uh, validate values these are written here values everything about uh, GIP locations is required content code country Poland PL Polasac country so once you entered here you will get like this See? country euro Europe IP address was a Europe country ID city reason code here you can get the red warden source code it written in python To TTOP SSG Fluxure, take a security by obstructor. Security by OB security to the next level to this bad idea. Do not real use in this place. Some people change their SSH port like uh, their server so that they slightly harder to find the boards are the nasties and while they are generally viewed as uh, actions of security through the op security does not work very well killing the automated logins when you always see see if I now I have uh, I stay in uh, US okay if I want to log in from the Indian IP address so I can't able to log in with the SSH ports they can block in some website uh, so even if I use the IP address also so with this tool I can log in with the uh, I put with my port and SSH and I can log into here it written in the Go language so you can use it So when come to the next tutorial
type of detect it detects the active mutations of the domains a tool which uh, which gives a blue teams uh, blue teams soc researchers and uh, companies the ability to detect the uh, active mutations of the domains thus the preventing the use of the domains and fraudulent activities such as uh, phishing and shimmings so if i have some domains like uh, Amazon with uh, AT&T and uh, some other things okay I can clone the website and I can host in some other C panels and WHM panels and I can uh, set up email.php and I can get the, uh, their database who the client will log in so I can get some SMS leads and uh, email leads so without this profiting uh, this type of attacks so I can so we can use these tools for typo detect so once they detected the c panels will become uh, uh, dead so next tutorial is peng lab abuse of google colab for cracking hashes Penglab is ready to install the setup on Google Colab for cracking hashes with the incredible power ready useful for CTFs. It installs by default like Hashcat, uh, John, Hydra and SSH. John the Ripper which will cra uh, crack the passwords and Hydra is a better uh, uh, bullet forcing for the passwords and SSH and all. And, uh, Launches the integrated shell download and world list Rocky U hashes OG 2019 quickly. Colab researchers google.github. So, this is taking some time. So, this they return something. Peng lab IB run. It's required sign in. Don't want now. So you can it's already written in the Google Cloud console, so you can download from here. Bastolin. Bastolin is a web based SSH console that uh, centrally uh, manages administrative access to the system. So, how it look like? You can see this is uh, Bastolin is a centrally is a web based SSH. SSH console that uh, centrally manages administrative access to systems web based administration is combined with the management and uh, distributions of users public SSH keys key management and administration is based on profiles assigned to define users administrations can log in using two factor authentication maybe you can use uh, google auth authenticators and uh, there are some can manages like ssh keys connect to their systems through web shells commands can be shared across shells make uh, patchings easier and uh, eliminate uh, redundant command like uh, executions bastolin layers like a tls and ssl simple socket layer and on the top of ssh, SSH and access a basto 
bastion host for the administrators and cannot be exposed through the tunneling port towards more details can be found in the following like uh, it can re release some uh, specific tools like uh, implement like uh, third party systems uh, uh, cannot access for the these secure cells like a white paper you can see here it's came the bastol in so you can downloading and install in the configuration of your websites and you it required more hard uh, security to crack your websites and to hack your websites it's this is the two factors this is the two factor authentication uh, you can use google and any any wish uh, of your regarding your know, managing systems host and everything this is the best rolling How Bastolin look like you see here. Uh, now let's get to the new topic Chinese. New Chinese malware targeted to the Russian largest nuclear submarine design designers so submarines we see in uh, seas or somewhere else and uh, some in uh, discovery channels or somewhere else okay how the submarines will be attacked how actually this is possible yeah yeah it will be possible with uh, some of the hardware tools so i will tell you that hardware tools which you require for these attacks So for this uh, uh, submarines, several targeted attacks group shared in the tools in the attacks and uh, reported during a similar attacks. Attack tools should be shared the attacks targeting Japanese organizations. Uh, for example, TIC, TIC may use for the tool called Royal Road RTF Weaponizer and Royal Road is a use by targeted attack groups such as Goblin Panda and Temp Tradient. Temp Tradient that is suspected of being involved in China. So we required for uh, exploitations like RTF to do this type of attacks what we required. We required exploitation of vulnerabilities of equitation editor have an object named uh, 8.t in the rtf rtf creator a file uh, 8.t using active x control package when opening the document all vulnerabilities used in used by the exploit uh, code are based of the equitation editor we use some uh, cv cve exploits like cve 2017 uh, 118882 and uh, some common exploits like CVE 2018-0798, CVE 2018-0802. You can search. I can show you some uh, examples here about CVE. CVE 2017 
डबल एट टू इट्स ए सेवेंटीन ईयर ओल्ड मेमोरी करप्शन इश्यू इन द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ऑफिस इट्स डिटेल करंट डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ऑफिस सर्विस पैकेट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ऑफिस यू कैन सी एन टाइटल ऑफ दिस वॉट डज सी वी ए टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन एन टाइटल इट्स ए सेवेंटीन ईयर्स ओल्ड मेमोरी करप्शन इश्यू द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ऑफिस so in the submarines we have like memories like uh, some documents how how they can run like uh, uh, number one see i have rtf uh, document of the payload okay i need to send this to 80 and the shell code once i send to the these cell codes with this with the exploits of these things like uh, cve 2017 1182 of these codes and uh, we can see one more uh, exploit mm, that exploit is cve 2018 0789 no no sorry 798 and uh, one more exploit cve 2018 0789 exploit this is rce vulnerability stack buffer overflow it can that be exploited by the threat attacker performing a stack corrup stack corruption the vulnerability sub routine is located re relative virtual address okay so this is uh, 080 this is repo contains proof of concept exploit 2000 proof of concept is like a uh, Uh, RTF, what we are going to uh, exploit in the malware. Okay, so this uh, which I have RTF under uh, these three uh, exploits will uh, can help to targeted the malware. Uh, uh, um, Uh, Chinese malware with the submarines, so I can targeted this, targeted the submarines, and I can use this submarines. How to use this? So I can give you like a small example. I have a RTF document, like a payload. So I can send to the ATF, and I can use my shell code. So I can send the RTF to the ATF uh, payload and the shell code. So at ATS read the document and decode and execute the shell code to the malware. So once it's executed the malware, so then I can get this submarines, uh, designers and everything the container. So this how they will run this. So see how I show you the R R decoder. R R decoder. This of decoder. R R decoder. See, this is the RR decoder for use for in the submarines. How to targeted the uh, submarines? Okay, this is the source code. 
the chaining cycles they use for the attack for the submarines okay here change lock this is the use you can use the input and output it will be run through it so let's get to the another tool bucky an automated Bucky is an automated tool designed for S3 buckets for misconfigurations Bucky web applications. You can install in the AWS server uh, with SDK. This and the PHP version as a dependency via compressor as a package prepacked uh, PHR of the SDK as a zip file with SDK. So. AWS with PHD PSDK is available. So open Firefox browser, visit about uh, debug, uh, debugging, click on Firefox, load a temporary add-ons, select the add-ons, then run. See how we need to run this. This is the run uh, in the our uh, terminal so we need to log in for the first uh, firefox and uh, run the firefox development bucky external id internal uuid main fest url you need to add the extension once you add the extension then you can do these things amazon web source so here is the source code everything working bucky add-ons since uh, details of s3 buckets name the discovered from the user visited uh, web packages on the backend engines like using aws php sdk to discover the misconfiguration users so like this so how this works like if any person's users of any website users want to visit uh, know the their IP address or something else like uh, how they entered if you want to get alerts if you want your website if you want to get some alerts in your website if some persons is visited with this IP address so this can works very easily with the uh, Bucky magic recon magic recon is a powerful shell script to maximize the recon and data collection process of objective and uh, finding common vulnerabilities so magic recon how oh, it works so, this is a new version of magic recon large number of uh, new tools and automated as such as uh, much as possible and uh, process of collecting data and targeting uh, such as uh, vulnerabilities it shows as a menu where the users can select with the options he want to execute so it's have a sensitive information declosure missing http address open s3 but uh, buckets like uh, which we discussed about past uh, buckets subdomains take over sl and tls open ports and services email spoofing endpoints directories juicy files javascript files and uh, sql injection server side request clrf injections remote code executions and other books so you can find these all things like subfinder httpx notify newsly newsly templates cyclics so magic recons like uh, once we install this uh, magic recon in the, our terminal so we need to first of all install the dependencies once install the dependencies it may install with the metasploit and uh, os uh, os things subdomains enumeration enumerate 
and scan JavaScript, can uh, scan the JavaScripts in the websites and scan the files and all directories in the websites. This is the source code where you can get it. This source code. This is written in the shell code. So once come to the next video. Dystopia. 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 It is a optional login promoted. Dystopia is a low to medium multi threaded event to core honeypot coded in Python. Dystopia is a one of the honeypot. Okay. This, this, this optional login promote logs commands used and IP address customized m42 to do post home names and how many clients can connect at a once save and load config and support the play for throw commands. See, this is like uh, if I connect to uh, uh, some like uh, some features like some big websites so like a blockchain okay blockchain have a many persons uh, who works uh, with the uh, servers and everything if I connect to the blockchain okay they can be visited their home with IP address with the particular thing with the locations everywhere everything okay if my IP address is is some x dot x dot x okay mm. Uh, if I connect it to, to some website, they check the cloud fair and everything. Okay, this honeypot can detect the uh, this honeypot can bypass the cloud fair and uh, reid and uh, it can be bypassed through directly and you can visit there. See how it looks like. You can download the source code from here, the Dystopia. Dystopia is written in the Python. IP address. You can see CD, CHMOD, Dystopia dot Python reports reports dot HTML. Correct logins to even you can get the even if you have the IP address of the clients you can access and you can enter into the their systems this is the honeypots works so next come to the another tutorial analytics relationships get related to the domains and subdomains This script uh, try to get a related domains like subdomains by looking at Google Analytics ID from URL. First search IDs of Google Analytics in the web page. You uh, and then request the build built with the uh, with the ID. No, this does not with all uh, work with all websites. It's searched by the following. Uh, expressions like uh, which we shown here so I just faded here for some works see it works like uh, some faded like www backward slash google tag manager like you can try it by your own So you can see here Google Analytics relationships. It's it's written in Python.
you can get all the details here so next tutorial is five store pwn five store pwn is a database vulnerability scanner using a apks so if i have some apks like uh, i have some apks like uh, some teaching apks simply learn like uh, trust wallet like some blockchain exposures okay so fsp scans the apks and uh, checks the file store database for the rules that not secure testing with or without authentication if there are problems with the security rules attackers could not steal modify or delete data and raise the bills so it scan the apa apk without authentications okay if you want to scan that uh, apks we need uh, authentication ids and uh, sessions id okay for uh, scanning the uh, apks to find the vulnerabilities without this we can test this like if i have uh, i create some apks like uh, some dating sites okay without i want to test that how it works uh, if you have any like uh, strings uh, like name you can see here creator id updated time everything data is exposing here firebase found successfully decompilation with apk2 project id found id why we link for firebase firebase we are linking for the getting good uh, good results with the apks to run this so you can download source code from here and run your own uh, work for fsp so this is the thing how you can execute sudo apt get thing so we can get another tutorial tcp tunneling over http and https this is possible it's a black path towards the sun tcp tunneling over http of web application servers it should be a possible so this was written in the black black hat blackhat.com us so we can see here how they done it's taking too much time root of heavy right An extensive manual is provided in the PDF format and works users through a variety of develop deployment scenarios. This tool is released under version 2 of the GPL currently. So currently JSP and WAR and ASP.NET server side components are included. Components construct with uh, regolk and HTTP tunnel named as a oblique reference and cordyceps so we can see here the github black hat path towards the sun how they write abp tts used for python client script that will and web application server page Package 1 to the tun tunnel transfer protocol traffic over the HTTP or HTTP connections to a web application server in the in order to works anywhere that could be deploy a web cell. So you can use this.
Murmur hash, a tool to calculate a murmur hash value of favicon to hunt a phishing websites of the showdown platform. A little tool to calculate murmur hash value of favicon to hunt a phishing websites on the showdown platform what is murmur hash murmur hash is a non cryptographic hash functions suitable for a generic hash based lookup the name comes from the two basic operations multiply mu hash rotates are used in in its inner loop works with uh, in the python code so we can look it out this how it works see they tested here paypal objects murmur hash enter a favicon url to generate a hash they put the pip tesla dot com theme custom dot tesla dot png do you want to continue the hash exit this is the hash CI logs for Android logs. Android log screen bypass. How we can bypass the Android log screen? Uh, we need to route the Android suspend, not suspend for all OS jump to adb toolkit and shell screenshot copy all camera photos and everything so this is the tool for uh, if your phone is uh, lock or you can forgot your uh, pattern phone pattern and everything so you can use this tool Bullet four pin four digits, bullet pin six digits, bullet lock screen using a word list, bullet lock screen using anti guard, not supported for all operating systems. Root Android uh, super su, steal file and uh, reset data, ADB cable USB Android emulator. So you can use this like this. Solar GRB steel Apache Solar interface queries with or without usernames and password. So how this works? Solar GRB. Solar GRB which will which will work on the local host. Okay, and you can active with the Apache servers and you can run and you can send to a victim okay so if i want to spam some i want to hack some facebook accounts okay so i can run uh, i can run facebook.com uh, with url so http uh, forward slash url here and send to directly to the victim once i run to the this thing so here solar grb see how this works first of all i need to clone the repository once i clone the repository i need to enter into the repository then install in the index.dh and this will guide here like how i will show you
HTTP URL here or else you can use HTTPS your local host solar.users once they log in once they use their uh, like if they if I use if uh, my client is using I send my client this victim link okay my client is trust this uh, without using user ID and password I can access these those things PHP code analysis and your IPs The script will scan your code like uh, if I have my PHP code Check file upload or issues so it can check host editor injection SQL injection, insecure decentralization, open redirect, SSS or ref attack, uh, cross site scripting, local file inclusion, command injection. We can do this. So you can download the tool from here. So you can execute after installing, you can execute the code like here python code.python minus p file name. This will scan the file name python.code.python which will scan the full folder. So next tutorial we are going to see is like a very interesting tool. This tool ether blob what is ether block see a uh, lot of people's are interested in crypto nowadays like blockchain ether and uh, some extra cryptocurrencies like uh, doggy altcoin and some etc et coins okay so oh, this ether block so one of the uh, 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 party A uh, team they created like a uh, some X wallet X wallet and uh, they designed some X wallet and they done some uh, they prepare some applications and they launched their crypto some uh, like uh, a blockchain uh, trust wallet and uh, coinbase and uh, uh, packs full local Bitcoin uh, and some uh, some more things okay they launch their website and they launch their uh, money okay like uh, exchanging platforms like Binance something okay uh, party X is launched these things okay party X is launched uh, some same thing uh, like this okay uh, I some party x is launched for uh, bitcoin core okay you can think that uh, bitcoin core they launch okay but what uh, if i uh, what if you want to do exchange some things like uh, if you want to exchange some things like uh, convert from block uh, bitcoin to ethereum okay he want to link the ethereum and he need to pay the uh, service of accessing code in the ethereum.io this need to access the uh, access the API code okay access blockchain data building data apps verifying the contacts community driven so once i log into the ethereum scan.io so they can get me the token apk so i need to get the token apk and i need to link in my website i need to link in the my application once i link in the my applications i can publish in the play store and app store the all users may can download so i can monetize that app 
once they monetize the app maybe a clients they can buy the buy the crypto by using credit card debit card or else their bank details okay uh, due to some futures and next once they want to do a trading once they want to do a some bitcoin um, exchange he buy the bitcoin or he buy the some other cryptocurrencies okay but he want to exchange into the bitcoin for the market price values or something so i need to register it here i need to link the api token key in the my website along with the applications once i link if how much percentage i need to get uh, it will be dis disclose each and everything here in the blockchain uh, uh, if person is uh, transaction um, hundred dollars okay party x uh, is develop the app and done okay party a want to exchange the cryptocurrency from block uh, uh, bitcoin to ethereum okay i have hundred dollars of uh, bitcoin okay i want to exchange this to ethereum because the market price is going to high uh, tomorrow okay i can exchange this okay once i exchange uh, how much per volume of money i want to put for my commission okay party of x commission is hundred dollars uh, party of x commission is uh, 0 0.2 percent or 0 0.5 percent he will detect the exchange fee of volume okay that's the call of ether block okay ether block is a tool intended to research for analytics and city of players or any more curious enough wanting to search for different kind uh, kinds of files or any meaningful of human supplied data on the ethereum blockchain network it searches over user supplied range of block ids or unix timestamps on any of five valuable networks mainnet goril kovan rinkb and rapstein the real time you can read this experiment made in 2017 this immunity of blockchain can truly be double edged the sword okay if i launch the app and go on the website you are using my service okay i can get 0.5 percent is commission is not good it's good but once we get these apis okay with the ether block we can track those all who where he sent which locations or which wallet he sent we can extract the all data informations with this okay if i want to extract the coinbase data informations okay i need to access first of all the coinbase application and their api token once i access the api token i can get the all database of the users uh, block minimum block hash hash rate of uh, their uh, sender address receiver address exchange from blockchain to ethereum or some etc x to yz okay this is the thing ether blob explorer can present so here you can see transaction input block input data contracting storage to address so we can get all these things also we can get embedded files file headers magic bytes ascii string dump entropy based search so the order showed here is used to under the hood for discarding searches with other methods like uh, ascii string dump no entropy usage see you can use this ether block ap api key between two blocks okay you can search this and dump the data this is the source code you can get it from here
it will it will run on uh, Linux very be very best. So next we go for another tutorial. Divide and scan. Divide full port scan results and use for targeted nmap runs. In this we can discover the open ports and bunch targeted so you can see nmap minus p minus svc with a port address minus p so it can disclose like this how to use this tool da scan minus db round posters all around nmap minus p so you can get all the database hosted here so how we can run this first filling the data database we can fill then targeted the scannings then matching the reports After matching the reports, we can report the things. So Next we come B XSRF XSRF BXSRF toolkit to detect and keep track on wild XSS, XSC and SSRF. So this is the blind uh, cross-site scripting attack uh, code. You can use this in the website and blind XSC which is which was written in the XML so we can use this while using this SSRF attack we can use get test ssrf.php website.com bxrf request.php the default credentials it will run on the local host you can use in the local host base runner base runner is the tool for exploiting the database of the firebase so it will exploit the firebase database okay you need to install nmap is in java you need to run this how it will look like you can see base runner base runner need to log in with email id and password or log in with phone number with complete captcha firebase config so we can set config api key is api key we need to provide project id fire with project id dot firebase app database url project id project id dot apps dot once you provide we can get the all details
Lucifer, a powerful penetration testing tool for automatic pen test penetration testing tasks such as mul local privilege escalation, enumeration, exfiltration, and more. A powerful penetration tool for automa automating penetration tasks such as a local privilege escalations, enumeration, exfiltrations and more. Used to build automation modules to speed up your cyber security life. Non-argument comments, help name IDs, argument comments. Lucifer allows pythons and java codes oh, work side together with LM I Java extensions so we can look it out how this is set test where hello world oh it executes hello world so it's running a module displacing the things this is the thing Cyber Battle Sim. Cyber Battle Sim is an experimental experimentations and research platform to investigate the interaction of automated agents and abstract simulated networks and environments. So how this works? Cyber battle sim is a platform agent. This simulation environment is parameterized by fixed network topology and set of vulnerabilities that agents can utilize to move laterally of the network. Goal of the attacker is take to ownership of the portion of the network by exploiting vulnerabilities and planted in the computer nodes while attacker attempts to spread it through the networks and Defender agents watches the network activities and tries to detect many more things. Thank you for watching. We can get in another video.